Monica, ABC 10's Lilia Luciano has spent the last few weeks working on a project with the Discovery Channel, Border Live, a weekly show that documents the work of law enforcement on the U.S.-Mexico border, as well as the real moments and stories of those that live and work alongside remote stretches. Lilia recently embedded with officers and special agents at key border sites. Take a look. This area here that's really close to the fence that divides Nogales, Sonora in Mexico with Nogales, Arizona and the U.S. side is very much prone to illicit tunnels. We're here to meet with Deputy Patrol Agent in Charge Kevin Hecht, who is one of the world's leading experts in illicit tunnels to understand why this place is so attractive. As you can see, Mexican infrastructure is, you know, 60 feet from the fence mm -hmm. as it is on the U.S. side. So there's very limited distance. That building is so close and this building is so close on the U.S. side, it's a very short tunnel to have to dig. The other part is the drainage system. There's a lot of underground infrastructure to collect that rain to keep both sides of the border from flooding. Mm. So with that existing infrastructure, you can use that. So it's easier. You don't have to dig through just earth, you actually have the assistance of having a hollow world underneath. Yeah, so years ago, that was more what they would do is use the existing, but we're more proactive on our approach and how we defeat that. Mm -hmm. So now they're more into tunneling mm -hmm. under the drainage channels or tunneling through the drainage channels or using both the combination of tunneling and the drainage channels to pass through the border. This is one of the access points. This could be an exit point. Our patrol groups, our agents, well over half our agents are trained mm -hmm. to patrol the existing drainage system. All right, can we check it out? Yep. Okay. All right, so how long is this tunnel? To the border? Probably, you're looking at 120 feet. Wow. What kind of dangers do agents face other than obviously, you know, encountering someone who might be armed well, down here? Well, there could be uh, rodents, scorpions, spiders. Here? Um, yeah. Okay. So what you're sitting on now is in one of those sleeves. Oh, so there was. So there was a tunnel here a to get tunnel. around the, the catch basin that we entered in. Interconnecting is what we call it. It's when they dig a tunnel to a pipe and then continues through the pipe and then dig back out of it. Um, at any given time, they could be dug against the outside of this pipe. And then once we were to leave now, if we were regular patrol, they could punch through and then try and push product as fast as they could until the next patrol comes in. This is pretty gross. Lilia, how are you, girl? Oh, I'm so good. It's so good to talk to you, Chris. <laughs> yes, I had a chance earlier this week to catch up with our own Lilia Luciano about that tunneling experience. There's almost like this hollow world underground, which cartels have used historically to break into through building tunnels, use the sewage pipe and the drainage pipes that exist, and then transport drugs. Oh, what happened is we that we didn't expect, and it had been a really long time since this happened, they discovered a tunnel. Uh, early on Monday of this week, they discovered a drug tunnel. So I was able to go out with agents to patrol the, the um, drainage pipes every day and go through those pipes and see how they do their work and actually find pipes that have been mended because drug tunnels had been uh, carved through them. I also discovered I'm claustrophobic. I was going to say, how was that experience for you <laughs> in, in these tunnels that, that what, connect to the sewage lines, you were saying? Yeah, so there's tunnels that connect through the, through the drainage pipes and through the sewage pipes. This is pretty gross. One thing that's important to stress and that I learned is that migrants don't generally go through these tunnels. It's more for drugs because, you know, if you go through one, people speak. And so the cartels don't want people to know, you know, human beings who are not directly linked with the cartels to know where these things are. And that's why they're so secretive. That's why they're so hard to find. Lilia Luciano giving us a firsthand account of the work that men and women are doing every day there on the border. Border Live airs every Wednesday on Discovery.